So it's been about a week since I've had the Raspberry Pi and I've, I've done a, a couple cool things with it. Uh, as you can see now, I have a pretty nice case with it, uh, just to give it a little protection, also make it look a little cooler. Uh, it's a real high gloss black, uh, it was ordered from um, builttospec.com and uh, it took pretty, uh, took uh, not a lot of clicking around before I found this one. It's uh, pretty nice, it's one of the ones they have um, pretty readily available. Uh, it was uh, about twelve ninety five plus uh, six bucks for shipping, uh, and it came within three or four days, so they got it out pretty quickly. Uh, it's very easy to put together. Uh, the one thing I don't like about it is it is pretty high gloss, as you can see the reflection and the light there. Uh, so it is a, a bit of a fingerprint magnet. Uh, so every time you touch this thing, you definitely leave some prints there. But it's pretty well built. The ports are nice and large. Uh, they fit everything really snugly. There's not a lot of rattling. Uh, it can even uh, move the uh, SD card in and out without the board shifting around too much. Uh, so it's it's pretty secure in there. Um, it's hard to tell with this light, but you can see there's a lot of um, laser etching, and they put these nice little light bars in there that attach it to the board so you can see the blinking all, uh, from the outside as well. And what's really cool is on the bottom, see if I can angle this so you can see it, a uh, nice laser etch with the, the company logo on there. Again, it's a really good case. Um, there are some pretty other uh, cool ones out there, but this one came pretty quick and it, it serves a purpose. It's nice, it's simple, it's black, uh, glossy, it looks nice on the uh, console, and it's uh, uh, pretty good. I, can, I definitely recommend this.